Did a piece earlier on Marcus Rashford. You may have seen it, folks. Bayek, do we need him tomorrow? Plus 10 others. That is if you're a Man United fan like myself. I'll tell you what, I'm worried about tomorrow. Really, 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 really worried. But I do know that anything can happen in a derby. And I do know teams can raise the game. Others have done it against us on many occasions. I'm hoping for the same tomorrow. Tell you what, we need to win desperately. We need to keep this run going. But if we beat the old foes, if we beat probably the best team in the league, it could just kick us on and give us a bit of self-belief. Yeah, I said earlier that Marcus isn't playing well at all, isn't scoring goals. He needs to get his act together. When he plays well, the team plays better. But we need 11 performances tomorrow and the three or four that come on as substitutions. We really do. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the Bobby Charlton factor plays a part. Ten Hag has used Charlton over the last two games, both of which they won, but both for me played not particularly well in, especially the first one. Um, but I'm hoping some of the footballers for United who know nothing about Charlton, who know nothing about the history, because they come from all walks of life and they're a lot younger than you know, the young. I don't think they know a lot. I'm hoping they've read a lot and learnt a lot this week. I really am. I actually only read my Saturday and Sunday papers late on last night. And I read six or seven pages from the Daily Mail from last Sunday, I think it was. Absolutely brilliant. Again, my old mate, Oliver Holt. Absolutely spectacular. And a couple of others on there too. Patrick, whatever his name is, can't remember. A guy that was a mate of Fergie's, can't remember. I shouldn't know names, I know him, can't remember him. But three or four cracking pieces in that paper. They really, really were. And I thought, I wish to God the United players had read these pieces and realised what Bobby Charlton... Manchester United and Munich were all about and really understood it. It might just give them an extra 10% in their, their attitude and the performance levels tomorrow. It really might do. That is what is needed. I do hope the honour of Bobby properly tomorrow because I don't believe they did last weekend. I don't believe they did in midweek for all we got two wins. Neither was a convincing performance. Tomorrow I'll settle for a not convincing performance or non convincing performance and a win. That'll do me. I'll even settle for us playing crap and winning. I wouldn't normally, I'd normally seriously prefer to play brilliantly and get beat than play absolutely crap and scrape a win, although wins are important. But tomorrow, I'll go the other way. If we're absolutely crap and win 1 0, that'll do me. I'm worried City are going to win by 2 or 3 tomorrow. I hope to God I'm wrong. I'd love to be on here tomorrow night or Monday and be proved wrong. I'd love fellow United fans laughing at me, telling me I don't know what I'm on about and I can't pick my nose. Well, I can as it turns out, but that's what I'd love them to tell me. I'd love to be proved wrong. I'd love us to beat City. I really would. But Marcus, we need more from you. And fellas, get the ball to Rasmus earlier. Create some chances. You know Arlen's going to get him at the other side. You know he's going to get plenty. Let's give our boy some service.